This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And we're back with another weekly community newsletter update from uh, Funcom, Conan Devs, whoever it's from. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a short video because it was a rather short newsletter. But there's a few things that I wanted to point out that I think are going to probably aggravate a lot of people. So let's get to it. I'm not going to read this whole thing like I normally do. We're just going to touch on a few things here that I feel are important. And so they finally patched Xbox. They're working on a PS4 patch. They say they're hopefully going to have it soon. So PS4 people, you're still waiting on your patch. Then uh, they go on to talk about the pets and the thralls. And this, this is the important thing that I wanted to cover on this. So it says... When we roll out the pet system, we'll also be rolling out new functionality for your thralls. In the same way that pets need to be fed to keep them alive, your thralls will also need food to avoid that pesky thing called death. Yeah, yeah, you understood that right. We're going to have to start feeding thralls as well now, which is going to, I don't know whose idea that was but that's going to devastate their fan base because there are a ton of people that play this game because it's so much different from Ark. You don't have to worry about annoying things like feeding your thralls. And now they're adding it, so you have to feed. What are these people going to do that have massive, massive bases just lined in thralls? Now they're going to have to worry about feeding like a couple hundred of these things. I think it's a terrible idea. I really do. Like there's a lot of different things they could have done, but I think I think that is going to really aggravate a lot of people. I mean, honestly, I don't play with a ton of thralls, so for me it's kind of meh, but I feel like the community is going to be really angry about that. Then they go on to just explain it more. Think of it as a decay system for pets and thralls. It will help remove pets and thralls that have been abandoned by players reducing stress on the server database. Why wouldn't you just have thralls decay in a normal fashion like the buildings do? You could just attach them once they're placed. They could just be part of the whole building system that decays and decay with your building. Like... The whole feeding thing, I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, I'm not going to jump to too many conclusions because we'll have to see how it is once it's out. Maybe maybe you only have to feed them like one steak every, every two weeks or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Then it goes on once again to explain it a little more in depth. You feed pets and thralls by putting food in their inventory system. And then they talk about how there'll be different feed boxes and, and thrall pots to, to feed the different versions, whether you're feeding a pet or you're feeding the thralls. And they'll just get food out of them automatically. So similar to the feeding troughs in ARC. What the range on those is going to be, we don't know. They don't really talk about all that. And then it says any food will work as pet food and thrall food. Lime animals will produce dung, uh, which is used to create compost for your planters. Thralls won't produce dung. They don't poop somehow. Okay, that's, that's great. And then they go on to say that even if your pets die, you can still make use of them. Placing dead pets inside of a liquid separator will grind them down into blood, bone, and hide resources. So, I mean, nothing else. You can let your pets die. Just go claim them and don't feed them. Let them die and then bust them down into resources. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, then they talk more about the, the old uh, ball sag religion and say, as we mentioned before, uh, Jabal Sag and the Midnight Grove has ties to the pet system. Once you are able to travel to the Midnight Grove, you can go there to collect Shade Bloom, which you can use to create shade spiced foods. These grant you a higher chance of getting a rare greater pet when you raise them in a pen. So essentially, you're just going to go there and you can get that food you can use that food and it's going to increase your chances of getting a higher tier pet 
Then it follows up with uh, greater pets are much bigger than regular pets with a different visual look and increased strength. But notice they only say increased strength. They don't talk about increased armor. So once again, I'm wondering if they're going to have full on increased stats or just hit harder because it really doesn't matter if they hit harder if they die in two swings. So it's wise to stock up on Shade Bloom once you have access, if you can withstand the challenges of the Midnight Grove, of course. Then they go on to talk about how the Midnight Grove, uh, you're going to need to go there to learn the Jabal Sag religion, which I kind of speculated that that was going to be a thing uh, a few videos back. That's going to be a thing, which I think is cool. I think all the religions should have a dungeon with them that you have to get through. Then it says that you're also you'll get the recipes there, letting you craft uh, his religious altars and tools. Followers of Jabal Sag can extract blood from their victims and craft lures to attract creatures and monsters. So I'm wondering if that's going to help you get like babies in order to tame them. I don't know. We'll have to see what the whole lures thing does. Then it says, once you've reached the highest level of worship, you can craft a special weapon that we think you'll really love. But you'll get to see that later. And that's pretty much all there is. And they talk about they're going to do the live streams and they're trying to have this patch out on the test live servers uh, before the weekend. So I'm not sure if they're still going to hit uh, that date of August 16th or not. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to keep an eye on it once again. I'll uh, make sure I'm keeping an eye on that. I will install the test live. I will give it a run and uh, try to have all of this information to you as soon as I I possibly can and all the details on that so once again if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button the bell and all that so you can make sure that you're notified if this is something you're super interested in so yeah that's that's pretty much all they have to say in this week's letter i guess this is the altar here for old ball sag religion i think it's a pretty cool altar i'm interested to see what the dungeon is like and like i said i think it's really cool that the only way to learn the religion is to do the dungeon so interesting thing, thing there, uh, but I really think that they're, they're really just going to anger so many people. I mean, their player base has already dropped a lot over the past couple of weeks. And I think the fact that you have to feed the thralls is unless they make it just stupid easy and almost to the point where you don't have to micromanage it at all. I think it's really going to aggravate a lot of people, but eh, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Lee Crow Patreons, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.